It's time for Let's Chat with Rustic, a podcast dedicated to helping entrepreneurs just like you. When starting out, entrepreneurs often feel they need to go it alone, and I'm here to tell you that's just not the case. Entrepreneurs have a lot of questions, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Nick Russell, and this is Let's Chat with Rustic. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Chat with Rust Tech. My name is Nick Russell, and today I want to shift gears a little bit. I know we kind of talked about the Expert Secrets book for a while and how you can use your message to grow your business and use that in marketing. But I want to get back to the core of being an entrepreneur in ways we can all grow as entrepreneurs and grow together. Um, and it's funny, when I first started to be to my entrepreneurial journey, and kind of even before that, when, when somebody said the word entrepreneur, or if you hear the word entrepreneur, a lot of people think, well, for one, they're crazy. And that's true. Entrepreneurs are the 1% crazy in the world, in amongst your friends and your family, you are the 1% crazy. And that's cool. I am that crazy. And I love that fact. And the other thing people think of is, well, you're an entrepreneur. Or you, you know, you're the boss. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want. Especially for entrepreneurs like myself that have a home office. The sky's the limit. I can do whatever I want. And that's kind of what I thought too for a brief little bit. Now, when I was at the beer store um, and just as I left the beer store to start this, this journey as an entrepreneur, I thought, oh, this is perfect. I can work from home now. I get all kinds of freedom. And it was funny, when I first started, I got my office all set up, getting down, getting ready. I know exactly what I want to do. I have a client now. Let's get to work. So that was when I would have my breakfast early in the morning, I'd get my coffee, sit at the desk, do a few things, and then I'd bring the mug back to the kitchen. But you know what? I haven't done the dishes yet. Let me quickly get rid of these dishes and then I'll get back to work. I've got all day. I'm the boss, right? And that kind of snowballed into, well, you know what? You know, the garbage needs to be taken out. Sweet, make sure the house is perfectly neat, clean, tidy. It's a tidy, clean place. It's a much better working atmosphere. Next thing I know, a few hours go by, and I haven't done anything. So quickly, you realize that you need to have a system and a routine in place in order to, to keep being productive. And it took me a long time to realize that. Now, when I started to figure out that I needed something, I needed a change, I happened to come across a guy by the name of Brendan Boucher. Now, how I came across him was I was looking for a planner, an agenda, something that would force me to stay on track and stick to a routine. Now, there's no question that I love to do it. And I will talk a little bit about Todoist uh, a little bit later on in this podcast. But having a digital um, to-do list project management tool isn't quite the same as having an actual planner or agenda. Now, when I found Brennan's, that was a really cool tool. Now, Brennan Bouchard had a mindset section Every day, it also had an evening journal to kind of talk about your wins and everything else to get you in the right mindset to close out your day and then get ready back, get back to it for the next day. But it also had the agenda portion where you could actually write down, these are the calls I have, these are the meetings I have, this is what I need to do today. And that was really cool. I believe it was three months, each book was three months, and I used that for about a year. And I, I did love it. But it was just a little more than I wanted. I wanted something just a touch 
simpler. Now, the cool thing about that is I actually had the weekly reviews and the monthly reviews to see where uh, you what things that went well, things that didn't go so well, and where you can improve on that. But his planners were um, as amazing as they were. It just wasn't for me. It wasn't what I needed. And that's when a friend of mine, Sean Aldridge, who owns Aldridge Accounting, introduced me to the Rocket Book. Now, actually, I have the Rocket Book Fusion right here in my hands. Now, this I use partly as a planner, but also as a notebook. Uh, and I'll get into this in just a second. Now, when he introduced me to Rocket Book, I started doing my research and seeing what it was all about. Now, the cool thing with Rocket Book is it uses a very specific type of a page. It's a plastic uh, polymer type of a page, and it uses a very specific pen. It's the Pilot Friction X series of pens. Now, these pens are just like a normal pen, but the difference is they're actually erasable. So each of the pens come with an eraser, and you can erase as you're writing, or once you let the, the ink set and you're done for the day, you can use the, the rocket book with a QR code. And then at the bottom, there's a section to, put, to assign where you want that to go, whether it be uh, Google Drive, um, uh, the iOS cloud, whatever that's called, an email address, whether it be yours or if you're sending this, a document to somebody else, or like me, I use Evernote. So I send that all everything that I write into Evernote. And once you're done, you could use a spray bottle, spray the page down with water, wipe it clean, and you're good to go for the next time. Now, the cool thing about Rocketbook is there's so many different versions. Now, the one that I have, I just kind of flashed for the camera here if you're watching this on YouTube, um, is the Rocketbook Fusion. This is a really cool monthly planner, but it's mainly a notebook. Now, I got into the, the Panda Planner, which is also by Rocketbook, and a company called Panda that has their Panda Planners, and they merged them together into a reusable um, planner. That's the one that I still use uh, almost daily, well, pretty much every day, uh, along with another planner, and I'll get into that in a second as well. But that gives me the opportunity to actually plan out my full day so I know what meetings are happening, and what calls I have and that kind of thing. But the cool thing about the, the Panda Planner is it has a section where you can write down your tasks. Now, again, I love Todoist and Todoist is a, is a program that basically runs my life, runs the business and it's I couldn't run the business without it. But with that, I typically have anywhere from 40 to 50 uh, on a Monday or Tuesday, I might have 60 tasks, but a lot of these are small reoccurring tasks that aren't really that important and don't move the business. So that's why in the Panda Planner, I take the most important tasks that I have to get done and I write those down in that, in the Panda Planner. And then what I do is take it has room for top five. Now I'll get into, we'll break that down even further a little bit later on in this podcast, but it has a section for five. Now I take that and I break it down into five of the most important tasks. So out of the eight, 10, 15 tasks that I write down, the top five that absolutely have to get done for that day. If I don't get those done, the day was not a successful day. So that's what I focus on and actually taking it out of to do us where it's recurring constantly and writing it down daily kind of gets it on the top of your brain, top of your mind. And now you know exactly what you need to tackle for that day. On top of the agenda and the tasks, it actually has a spot, uh, right? Three things that you're grateful for. Um, it also has three things that you're excited about for that day. And then it also has like the tasks and you have an affirmation. Okay. What? Like you have to write whatever that affirmation is you have for that day, write that down. Now that gets you in the right mindset and in the right mode to be really productive for that day. 
Now, the other planner that I, I use with the Panda Planner, I don't really need the two, but for me, I got into that routine when I was trying out the Momentum Planner that I just kind of get used to using both of them. Now, the Momentum Planner, I wish I had it next to me, is a planner by a guy the, of the name Alex Scherfer. Now, Alex Scherfer is quite possibly one of the best entrepreneurs and coaches in the world. He is a genius. He, if you want to create momentum in your business and in your life, this is a man that you need to follow and listen to his podcast as well. Now, he created the Momentum Planner and Planning System. So there's a whole training system that comes along with this planner, and it really takes a deep dive and shows you exactly how to create momentum in your business and in your life. So what he did with, the, with his Momentum Planner is he took out the agenda. You don't need an agenda. We all have our phones, our tablets, our laptops, whatever the case may be. We have our agenda. That's already on there. So what he did was he focused on mindset and then the tasks that you have for that day. So he'll ask a question. Um, he'll ask you a couple questions to really get your mindset in the right, right spot for that day. And then he'll ask the difficult questions in the planner every day where you have to fill out where were you uncomfortable yesterday? Because we're not perfect. Nobody is. And there's a part of a day where maybe you could have did a task and you didn't do it. Maybe you let the hard tasks go and you didn't do it. You were supposed to catch up with a client, but you didn't. Whatever the case may be, where were you uncomfortable? And using that information is how you get better and move forward. Now, just like the payment planner, he also has a bigger section to write down all of your tasks for that day. And then he breaks it down into the top three tasks that you have to complete. Now, three tasks is the is what um, is recommended. So when you're looking at your task list, you should only focus on three tasks. That's it. Now, if you take those three tasks, those are the biggest, hardest, most important tasks that you have that day. Kind of like we talked about in a previous podcast and previous blogs about the book, Eat the Frog. Now, eating that frog is, if you take a full frog and eat it, it's not exactly appetizing, but getting that out of the way, getting that hard task, that big task out of the way first, leaves the smaller ones after, and your day will flow a heck of a lot better. So that's why you take the top three tasks, focus on those, get them out of the way, and then you can go through the rest of those tasks. And what I like to do is break them down, then if three, I'll go again and do the next three, the next three, the next three. And at the end of the day, I have quick, easy little tasks and I'm done. And like with Todoist, I get down to Todoist zero, as they say, and it makes it so much easier to, to finish your projects. Now, the next really cool tip that I have, and this was something I'd never heard of up until a couple of years ago, uh, Rachel Peterson from Social Media United, her uh, virtual assistant had an accountability call. And on this call, she talked about time blocking and how she uses that to stay productive and keep everything going and keep a great flow throughout the day. Now, if you haven't heard of time blocking, what it is is, you actually take time out in your calendar and block out one to two hour blocks. Now in that block, so if you're blocking time out for two hours, you're focusing only on that task that you need to get done. So whether it be the one, maybe two merge into each other, but you work nonstop for two hours. No phones, no Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, no distractions whatsoever. You focus only on that task. And you put all of your energy into finishing that. At the end of that time block, at the end of that two-hour time block, that's when you kind of get up, get another sip of water or stretch, kind of walk around your office, your house, maybe even take a quick 10-minute walk down the block just to kind of get the blood moving, get the blood flowing. And that rejuvenates you. And once you sit back down at the desk, you're not really looking at any screens during that, that little break, sitting back down, now you're rested and ready to go for that next time block. And then you do that throughout the day 
And you'd be surprised at how much more productive you are doing that over anything else. Now, that's all I had to talk to you about today. But I do want to give you one quick offer. And this is a completely free offer. Now, I put together a little ebook, a little resource um, pamphlet of all the tools and the resources that I use every single day. I talk about all of these tools that I just talked about in this podcast, as well as a few others. And these are things that help me as an entrepreneur and as a marketer using using social media to grow my business. And these are all things that you could use every single day in your business that take very little time, but have a major impact. So if you want that, the description is going to be in the podcast as well as the YouTube video here and on all of our social media pages. Or if you head to rustechmedia.com, you'll see it right there at the very top. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you got a little bit out of this podcast today. And I can't wait to chat with you next week. Hey everybody, hold up just one quick second. Now, as entrepreneurs, a lot of us struggle to find the right tools and the right resources that fit our business and help us grow. Now, over the past four years, I've tried so many different tools, so many different resources and ways to grow my business. And it wasn't until just recently in the last year that I found a really good system of tools that have helped me grow continually month after month after month. And I don't want you to take to go through that same pain and same process that I went through. So that's why I have this resource guide for you absolutely free. So if you head to info.rustechmedia.com slash tools, this resource guide is yours completely free. All you have to do is put your email in and I will send you the resource guide right away. So again, if you head to info.rustechmedia.com slash tools, that resource guide is all yours.